What's up, Travel Squad? We are back at it again. Back at it again. And today we are in Grand Turk. We are in between the Freedom and the Mardi Gras again. Freedom um, over there. If just following us now. We are going to head to the Margaritaville. Yeah. And have some fun, but also check out Grand Turk and see what the cruise board has to offer. Yeah. Awful. Waffa. Oh, Waffa. You throwing any L's and T's today? Maybe. Just see, see how the vibe is in the party. Maybe just an L and a T. I don't know. If it's like anything like Coco K was on my birthday redemption, I might be in trouble. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, we ready? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. I'm different. Let's go, baby. Let me get the trash out of here. So, did we make up for your birthday? Yeah. If you're wondering, the walk into the port at Grand Turk is a pretty short one. Look at these blue waters, all these different shades of blue. It is a little packed over at the beach. Here's another shade of blue. What? My eyeball. But your eyeballs are white. If you're ever curious to see where Margaritaville is, you go out, take a left, and just follow the music, and you will find it. Yeah, there's a big sign yeah. as well. Margaritaville, baby. There is a lot of people here, though. There is, but it's actually not as bad as I thought it could be. Well, we just is this one part of the pool. Yeah. We can go to the other side. It is pretty packed, but it's still like a really good time. You guys can hear the music in the background. It's a pretty large pool. It's very comparable to um, the Oasis Lagoon on Coco Cay from Royal Caribbean. Well, this is just a tad bit smaller, and it's not as open as Oasis Lagoon. It's not as open? No, because Oasis Lagoon is the biggest swimming pool in the Caribbean. Exactly. but. Like the next best thing. The DJ and the music are right up there in front, which is really nice. Okay. But it definitely is a party. I spoke too soon. It's a little packed, right? Yeah. There is a flow rider here. If you guys want ever was curious to do that and you haven't been on a world ship yet. And in the Mardi Gras in the distance. So the pool's right over there. And next to the pool, there's a little beach area. And then the margarita bar and all that stuff on the inside is over that side. Yeah, this looks a little less crowded. Also, there's definitely more room to spread out over here. Guys, if you have been enjoying these vlogs from this Mardi Gras cruise, please make sure if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. Thumbs up this video. If you want to, you'll see a join button and you can join our memberships and you get special perks throughout the month, depending on what tier you buy. But we are about to turn up, have fun and enjoy our day in the beautiful Grand Turk. Just took a refreshing dip in this beach right here. It's literally right next to the Mardi Gras. Beautiful views. It's gorgeous. However, quick tip, highly recommend you wear some type of water shoe in there because it is rocks everywhere. Like there's no sandy bottom. Like walking in right here. And I'm not talking pebbles, like gigantic rocks. So be very, very careful when you're getting into this ocean. Otherwise, it was extremely refreshing. Just kind of be cautious. Wear your shoes. Protect your feet. What's up guys, Editor Fane here. So I think I should probably give you a little backstory to what you're about to see. We were at Grand Turk. Oh, everything's cool, everything's Gucci. We get into the pool, you know, we wanna turn up. It was so much fun last time, we wanna check it out again. And we get into the pool and we see Rich and Jazz sitting at the bar, everyone sitting around them, like just waiting. And we find out this guy, like this bartender wasn't serving them. So we're like, cool, bro. we'll sit around, wait a little bit, all good. Because all the bars are pretty much packed. Start noticing that this guy was like, blatantly ignoring us serving the people right next to us getting them shots getting them drinks there's people on the other side of the bar they ordered food they got there after us they ordered food they got their food and we're sitting here like bro where's our drinks i hate saying this but it kind of got to the point where it's just like does he like black people like a lot of these people around us were not melanated per se in fact everyone has melanin but some people have more than others just a little little fyi and they were getting served so i was like yo bro like all skin folk and kin folk i guess but it was just a little frustrating so it's, if this seems random, I'm sorry, but this is what happened because I was in the heat of the moment and it was a lot. In the big scheme of things, getting a drink isn't like, oh my gosh, you get, can't get a drink on a vacation. Cool, yeah, I get it. But at the same time, when you're just being blatantly ignored, it kind of gets under your skin because everyone just wants to have a good time. All right. Let's play the clip. Hey guys, if you see this guy right here with the orange hat, ever come to Grand Turk, don't ever go to him. He does not like black people. We're sitting here for 30 minutes. He keeps serving everyone in the corner. I'm not even joking. I'm sorry, I don't make this type of stuff, but he's literally ignored all of us. This guy right here with the hat, with the braid, and ignoring us. 
he doing different prices because other people said they had different prices. When he asked them about the three drink deal, he's like, oh, they're like 10 something. Yeah. And people were getting three drinks for 24 hours. Right? Yeah. Three for 24. And he's making up the prices too. So I, I don't ever mean to make a video like this, but like if you ever see this guy right here with the braids, don't ever get served by him because he straight, he straight up ignores, he's been straight up ignoring us for like 30, 40 minutes. We've been here so long without a drink that they even ordered food came into the bar ordered food got their food and it's chilling your boy is just chilling over here while we're still waiting getting a drink i promise you we're not playing i promise you we're not playing also just want to cap off vanessa made an amazing job of descripting why she wasn't getting served a drink but at the same time it didn't make any sense for us just because they were like six or seven of us rolling deep and we're all getting ignored so yeah for her to get ignored because she, he thought she was jazz messed up for us like bro i'm not jazzy i don't look like jazzy and i still got ignored so little yeah all right bye <laughs> but in other news we got to hang out with everyone Addy and terry over here just Sure, the pool, they were the smart ones. They bought their own drinks. We're hanging out with them and then Richard Jazz and everyone else that showed earlier here. Laura ended up leaving to go to another bar to try to get another drink. Tell me why you just walked up to the bar for like at least five minutes, I feel like, and got a drink. I was in this one line, this guy was serving, and it was taking forever, but then I walked up to this one, this woman, and she got me my drink in like two seconds. Okay, I'm done ranting and raving about this. Um, we're gonna go have fun, chill, and enjoy the rest of the time on the island. Let's go enjoy these drinks. If you come away from the music and all that, you'll see a lot more open. So we're now we're just chilling, Max and Lock my Cool. Just finished my drink, I'm a lot calmer now. <laughs> After a long day in the sun, I am so glad. You can see the redness on Laura, but I am so glad we are here at the Palms restaurant. About to enjoy some dinner. You know, I put on like extra sunscreen today and I think I managed to get even more burnt. Which is weird. We need to get Laura a straw hat because I am doing perfectly fine. Next one, pity's in long hat, right? Mm. Full cover. We'll see. It's a little blown out, but it is really nice to see like just the ocean. Literally right at the back of the ship. Jeez, this is a gorgeous view. Loving it. We got a pretty nice spot tonight. Yes, I agree. Happy about it. I think we're in like the penthouse of the ship for like eating dinner or something like that. They offered us two pieces of bread. Laura didn't even have to ask for it. Two pieces. We have regular butter, garlic butter, and oil and balsamic. Like, I'm sorry, what? The garlic butter is going in my mouth. This is the first. Usually we don't get this spread, but I guess the, the best place to sit is in the back of the ship. We have like an aft view of the ocean. What universe are we living in when we order a drink and get two of them? Two Diet Cokes, two Sierra Mist, or Pep Diet Pepsis and Sierra Mist. I know, I keep forgetting there's no Coke products. Why haven't we come back here sooner? Main dining has been a really great experience. Like, world's difference from last time we were yeah, here. Yeah, night and day. Everything is just so good. Service is so quick. So I've been thoroughly impressed with all of this. I'm sorry if you don't show any of our food going from here on out, but we're just literally gonna sit here and enjoy the wonderful view that it is this white screen that you guys see, which is pretty much the ocean. Oh, there it is. We're just gonna sit here and watch the ocean. Honestly, sometimes you kind of have to get back to the basics of cruising where it's just like enjoying yourself and just watching the ocean. Yes. Watching the ocean is, one of the smallest things, but one of the most important to me. Because yeah, all the cruise ships, I have all these things to do now so advanced. And it's like back to the basics. It's like literally the point of a cruise for us, it's like getting on the ocean, listen to the water and just relaxing. And sometimes we forget that. And it makes it even nicer when we've been in an interior room all the time. And it's just like, oh yeah, we're, we're on the ocean. <laughs> Cheers. We're all done with dinner now. And I don't think I've ever been to a comedy show on a cruise ship, let alone a carnival cruise ship, because we always miss them. I've never been in the Punchline or Comedy Club before. Like ever? No, I didn't come last year either. Yeah, so this is gonna be a new experience. We just wrapped up with dinner, and now we're about to check out some funnies and have some laughs. Another quick tip, get here early. Can't lie, that was a fun party. A lot of great music, but you know the night is done when Laura is ordering pizza to the room 
on the phone. We walked past the pizza line. It was pretty long, so we're paying the six bucks. Six bucks? I thought it was five bucks. I think it went up. <laughs> Dang inflation. But no, guys, we are done for the day. Thank you so much for watching and enjoying our, hopefully enjoying our time at Grand Turk, other than that part in the pool, because that kind of sucked. I'll see you tomorrow for the last day. Knowing your body feels so tired.